it's been quite a while I think like two months or something like that but I'm finally back and I have a video for you guys today I'm gonna be sharing 10 facts about myself that you guys don't know or maybe a couple things you guys might know okay so the first one is that when I was younger I lied about that I couldn't see because I loved wearing glasses I always used to wear my mom's prescription glasses and she used to get mad at me and take them from me but I was determined that I needed glasses and I couldn't see so I had her make me an appointment to the eye doctors and when they were testing me I was lying about everything saying I couldn't see this and I couldn't see that so they gave me glasses and that was like the third grade and from that point on my vision just got worse what well, wasn't even worse but it got worse obviously and now I'm stuck with glasses and I have to wear them 24 7 for the rest of my life so yeah there's a little fact okay so number two I am addicted to soda yes I know it is horrible and I just can't quit I don't know why I just can't and I drink so much soda that I ended up getting kidney stones and yes I still do have them I haven't got them taken out but it is horrible and even though I have these kidney stones I just can't stop drinking soda still moving on okay so the next one is that I am a cat person I have always been a cat person I love cats I will choose them over a dog or a puppy any day I love kittens especially and speaking of that hold on let me show you I just got a new little fur baby he looks like a little fluffy cloud thingy but he has gray in him so I named him stormy because it's like he's like a stormy weather <laughs> he doesn't even respond to it so this is him and he has blue eyes and I freaking love him he's crazy with my other little baby cat well he's kind of big but they are crazy together but yes I am a cat person I love cats there he goes he just wants to go to sleep oh also okay so my kitten I got him and he has like a broken tail or something watch I don't know if you can tell like you can't tell but right here it's bent and right here it's ow, ow. but at the end it's bent too like it's like someone like I don't know if somebody broke it or if he came out like that but his tail is so cute to me and I love him and also I have only had one dog in my life and obviously I'm a cat person okay the next one is that I don't know why but somewhere along the lines of growing up I can't watch scary movies anymore I get bad anxiety like I'll start to panic and I will have to turn off the movie and like do something to get my mind off of that movie I don't know why it happens but it happens that's something that triggers my anxiety and I get really scared I don't like death I don't like um, what is that like I don't like torture I don't like seeing the torture, I don't like blood or anything about ghosts, things like that. It just freaks me out, but for some reason I can watch crime shows and stuff that doesn't freak me out, but movies and paranormal activity and all that, if that's out the picture, I'm gone, deuces, can't. <laughs> okay, so my next one is that my first tattoo I got I ended up covering it up it I do have it right here like you can tell obviously it's a cover-up it's supposed to be like flowers he did leave the cheetah print that was there although I should have told him just to cover the whole thing it says Andy and it has like a heartbeat and it has like our date and it has like a heart and it had like cheetah and the guy who did it like it was horrible the cursive was sloppy it wasn't straight and ever since then I go to my tattoo guy Jared and he does all my tattoos and he covered it covered this up 
I'm going to try to insert a picture so you guys can see how my first tattoo looked. And then if I can, I'll insert the after picture because it's pretty old. I've had it for like 60 years. And when he first did it, it was super nice, but it's faded. It's lost color. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, I covered up the tattoo and then I ended up getting in his full name, not Andy. I got Anderson for him. Okay, yeah. So that ended up being covered and then I got a better one. Okay, this one, the next one you guys might laugh at me for, but I always have dreams of flying. I don't know if you guys have, but I've talked to other people, like, do you have dreams of flying? They look at me like, no. But, yeah, I had dreams of flying, and I tell Andy and my mom and everybody, like, I swear, like, I know how to fly. Like, I feel it. Like, I feel like I can do it. Like, I don't know. It's just so weird, but... I had so many dreams of flying and like in my flying dreams like I don't know like I don't have wings or anything I just take off and I'm flying and it feels real and it's just one of those dreams where you wake up and you're like dang like that was so real and intense but yeah I have dreams of it and sometimes I'll even have dreams where like I'm flying and then I fall and it scares me and sometimes I'll stare out the window and I'll tell Andy, man, I just wish I can go for a fly. Like, I just, I feel like I know how it feels and I've been in a plane too. So like, I just, I don't know. It's just like similar with flying like in an airplane, but you're just in a plane. And when I'm flying in my dreams, it just, it just makes you feel like so alive. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I love the feeling and I wish I can actually do it in real life. But having the dreams, it feels real anyway, so I feel like I know how to fly. Number seven. Okay, so when I was about 13, 14, I'm going to say 14. No. Whoa. Let's take it back. I was in like fifth grade, I'm going to say. Okay, so I was a fifth grader. It's either fourth or fifth, but I'm pretty sure it's fifth. I fractured my thumb right here it came like from right here down to like right here and I remember the day it happened okay so it was on Christmas Day this is when I had a dog the only dog I've ever had so I went outside with some new toys for her since it was Christmas and I was playing outside with her in the backyard and for some reason she used to run super fast at me and like dart around me I don't know why she was just like a little playful thing she came a little bit too close than she normally does and I got scared and I moved out of the way and my hands were like down and as I moved out of the way she went to go around me and she didn't expect that I was gonna move and her thumb ha her thumb her head happened to hit my thumb and it went back and I remember like it was just like an instant pain and I grabbed my hand like this and I put it in between my legs and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And she came up to me and she started licking me and I was like, it's okay, princess, it's okay. And then I went inside and I think, I don't think I cried, but like my eyes watered and it took my breath away. It hurt really bad. And I told my mom to make me an appointment because it kept bothering me. And so we went to the doctors. They sent me to get some x-rays. And that took like a week or two to come back, the results or whatever. And from that point on, I was already writing and doing everything with my hand. My hand felt normal. We get a call and they say, oh my god, like you need to bring your daughter in. Her bone is fractured and she's been like this for a couple weeks. Like we need to get her in a cast as soon as possible. So yeah, I had a cast for three months. I write with my left hand and I had to write with my right for three months and I ended up being really good at it but as soon as I got my cast taken off my friends were like 
are you gonna like still write with your right hand or are you gonna go back to your left once I got it taken off the first thing I did when I got to school like it was just a habit came naturally I grabbed the pencil with my left and I just started going and the cast came up to right here but yeah moving on to number eight okay when I was a teenager, I went through a piercing phase. I used to have piercings all the time, and sometimes I would take them out, re-pierce them, have a bunch at once, have maybe a couple at once. But I was constantly piercing my body. I'm gonna try to insert a picture of some of the piercings I had when I was younger. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have dimples from my cheek piercings. And I don't have dimples. I wasn't born with them. But yeah, I had cheek piercings like three times. The first time I took them out, they got infected. And then the second time I got them repaired, they ended up like not healing right and they were bothering me. So I just took them out. And then the third time, it take forever to heal. So I ended up taking the piercing out and they like instantly closed when I went to try to put it back in. And I was just like, whatever, I'm done with it. I've had my septum pierced, that's this one right here. I only had that one probably like a month maybe because for some reason when I got it, like a few days later, this part got swollen and then this part on top got swollen and it just looked weird and it wasn't healing and I was just over it so I took it out. I've had this pierced, my nose right here, I did that myself when I, that was my first piercing. I did it myself with an earring and it lasted me like a couple years but I ended up getting sick of it and I took it out and then I've had my snake bites pierced like I can't even tell you how many times but it's been pierced so many times I've had my tongue pierced so many times too that was never done with the needle just like the regular piercing some girl did it in her bedroom and she had the barb out and she just shoved it through and it didn't even hurt I can tell you the only piercing that hurt me was my septum and my belly button those are like the worst worst piercings ever I will never get my septum again and I really want my belly button again but I'm scared so right now I have no piercings and I've also had my dermal <laughs> let me tell you okay so since I have kids, well at the time I just had Delilah, she was wild and playful and she was constantly jumping on me and she kept hitting my dermal and finally it just got infected or something and <clears throat> it was just constantly hurting. It was sore and like you can see like the little piercing thing like was like trying to pop out like out of my skin. You can see it like it wasn't like placed on in like in my skin anymore because it was hit so many times and then it just like it was like pushing itself out and you can eventually see like the little metal piece so I was just like I would rub it like my skin and the metal piercing together like this like and eventually it made a little hole and it didn't hurt because like I don't know why but the skin was like numb right there and I didn't want to go and get it removed because I hear you have to like pretty much it's like getting it like the dermal all over again and I didn't want to do it because it hurt it was so sensitive and I just ended up like doing that like freaking messing with it and trying to pull it out for like almost an hour and I finally did and I have a scar I don't know if you can see like right here but yeah I have a scar from it and it was so pretty, I loved it, but never again, no more dermals, it hurt, and I didn't like the whole taking it out part. And I've had my bottom belly button pierced two times. The first time I got it pierced, it was so cute, it healed right, it was perfect, but then it was a night at Gotham, I don't know if you guys know about Gotham, it was a little club hip-hop with techno stage back then, and I used to go there and my friend was wearing fishnets one night and she went to jump in the back seat. I was in the middle so she was like on me and she went to move to the seat next to me and it like ripped out and it was barely hanging on and I just took it off but there was blood everywhere. It hurt so bad. Got it pierced again and I 
think it was like just bothering me so I took it out and then after I had my daughter I got the top of my belly button pierced and I just barely took it out like a month ago because I don't know I don't like the top I want the bottom but I'm scared to go back but I think that's pretty much it for the piercings I went through a phase I had them a lot and yeah I'll insert a picture if I can Okay, so number nine is my hobbies. I love to do photography. I always loved taking pictures, but as I got older, I just got better and I'm good with the editing and just have an eye for it. Sometimes I do do people's pictures for free. I just love to do it, but when, when it comes to like buying the props and stuff, you know, like I need profit too from it so I do charge people but I don't charge them a lot it's very less and I give them a lot of pictures because I just love it so much I don't think of it as a job I think of it as like it's a passion and it's something I love to do and another hobby that I love to do is just like being outdoors that has to do with like nature and photography too because when I go and explore like I'm just like oh my gosh like I could take pictures right here I could do this like I don't know I just love being outdoors that's something I really love to do I love to explore if I could travel I would if I had a lot of money I would be everywhere girl like you don't even know I even told Andy that I feel like in my past life that I was a traveler and like took pictures or something like that I just feel it in my bones number 10 this is the last one I'm not gonna get into detail about it but I was a foster child. I was in the foster system and I was I think like three years old when I was taken away and I think it was maybe like a year or less than a year but yeah that's something I don't share with people and I felt like I wanted to tell you guys that because growing up a lot of things had happened to me like struggles and stuff and I don't talk about it but one of those things was being in foster care and like sometimes people assume that my life is perfect and stuff and you know it's it's not it's even till this day my life's not perfect and I have struggles till this day growing up like I have struggles and I have a story so you see my Instagram just don't assume like things about people because they have a past and they have a story but that is a story for a different day a different video but I'm not gonna get into detail but yes I was a foster child for like almost a year or a year something like that with all that being said those are 10 facts about me that you probably didn't know and yes I hope you guys enjoyed that video please like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos of me and I'll see you in the next one.